Hey guys, we are here at the Salesforce World Tour in Dallas. I'm here with Barb Dietz, the nonprofit user group leader for Dallas, and Josh Munson, the admin user group leader for Dallas. So, guys, what can you tell our audience just about what the user groups are about and, and why do people want to come to them? Barb, do you want to go first? Sure. The user groups in Dallas have been really great to bring in customers, to bring in admins, to bring in people together to collaborate, to talk about new options, new discussions about Salesforce, how to use Salesforce. Hey, I have a question. Can somebody help me out with this issue? Um, and collaborate and network together, share ideas. And, and I'd add to that that there's additional fantastic value, quick value, when someone does bring a problem to a user group and they'll, they'll have something that they're struggling with, whether it's a process or something in the system, and there will be someone sitting three chairs away who had that same exact issue three months earlier, and so together they can collaborate, and then they now have an even better solution, both of them together. So it's a, it's a fantastic place to go, a resource for information about the Salesforce platform, the ecosystem of applications, and just different experiences. Yeah, I know uh, for me, one of the big ones for me was uh, when I caught um, Lori Witzel's uh, presentation about spanning yes. uh, in Dallas last year, and uh, you know, learning about just the backup restore gap, you know, with Salesforce and how they're filling it, that was a big eye opener for me. So, really enjoyed that one. Um, so yeah, it, when they come and present, or just knowledge-wise, I definitely, you know, I'm getting a lot out of these things as I'm going. So, um, and. You know, also, it's, it's kind of a networking event too, right? You get to meet people at different companies, maybe people can help you, or even from a mentoring point of view, or things like that, right? Yes, there are quite a few companies that will come to a user group with an idea in mind for an admin that they'd like to bring into their firm. So they will go on a recruiting trip to the admin user group. And at the same time, there are people who are brand new, fresh admins, who know about the platform, who are in love with the platform, but they don't have an, an administrator job yet, and so they'll attend the meeting, and they, those two then find each other in the user group meeting, exchange business cards, and a few months later, they have a job at that other firm, so yeah. at that new firm. So it's, a, it's a great to see the, the enhancement, the growth within the community because of user group meetings. Also, I know with our nonprofit user group, we have a lot of customer-based people that come visit us with their questions. Mm -hmm. And how do you do this on your organization, tr tracking your volunteers, and how do you work with donations and donors? And there are other people there with those same exact issues or same applications that can share with each other. And we also have support from the other user groups in Dallas that are very interested in saying, how can we help your nonprofit people that might need some assistance? A lot of them are more customer-based and not as technical and they're just learning to use Salesforce, so it's a great collaboration across all of our user groups, and it's a great way to meet people and connect. And, you know, if someone was trying to understand the difference between the admin and the nonprofit user group, aside from the name, which gives it away, but, you know, what's the primary difference there? Like, what, what are you guys solving, and, and what are you guys focusing on? I think we focus a lot on what the customer, the use, the power user of Salesforce, what they're using Salesforce for. What can Salesforce provide to a nonprofit organization, like the volunteers for Salesforce component, apps that are available on the app exchange at a discounted rate for 501c3 type organizations, sharing how to use those and demonstrating in our meetings how to use those tools um, for their benefit. It's more of a customer base. It's more of a you know direct user. They're not. Um, they haven't been in their their roles long enough to really be a strong technical person. Mm -hmm. Whereas I see and you've got a where, lot of technical expertise. Yes, we have a lot of Salesforce expertise administrators who have been doing it for six, nine, twelve, eighteen months, and at a minimum, and they have been installing new applications. They're with commercial organizations for the most part, some nonprofits. But we also have developers, and uh, then we'll have some salespeople, the account managers that are using the Salesforce.com platform who have questions. But it's more administrators than um, nonprofit customers, and yeah. customers. And 
are there a lot of you know products, um, app, either App Exchange or some of the packages from Salesforce that are geared towards nonprofits that can help yes. them? Yes, there are specifically for functions that nonprofits use. So the nonprofit starter pack is one. It lays on top of Salesforce, and it has unique functionality that's specific to a nonprofit organization. Um, and, and there are apps out there for, um, like I'd mentioned, volunteers for Salesforce and accepting donations and tracking donations. Um, so there is a key, it's a key component. And Salesforce really supports the nonprofits well. Yeah. And are, are you guys involved in the 111 initiative as well, or is that something separate? Well, we try to help um, get people connected with other people who might be like a strong technical person. We've had a few connections so far, but we're working with the other groups we have here in Dallas to try to organize the use of some of the strong technical, because they're always willing to volunteer. They're always saying, hey, I'd like to come help. Yeah. Um, and we're trying to pair them up with some of our nonprofit customers that could really use the expertise. Awesome, awesome. All right, so if people want to go and attend these, what where do they need to go? The success community is the best place to find us. If you look for the user groups and collaboration, and you look at Texas, you'll find the, the different Dallas user groups that we have. Marketing Dallas user group, nonprofit user group, the user group itself. So those are available in the success community. Okay. And then once you kind of get signed up for that, I know you send out Eventbrite stuff for, for your meetings right. and is it nonprofit? Eventbrite. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, guys, if you need help with uh, you know either learning more about Salesforce or bringing a problem or networking, definitely check these guys out. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.